Hey everyone, this is Dr. Mungli. So in this video, I will be explaining you importance of sleep. Now why sleep is so important? If a person lives for 90 years, in that 30 years a person will be sleeping. It means one third of our life we will be sleeping. That means why sleep is so important. Before I get into that point, let me uh, explain to you there are two kinds of sleep. One is NREM sleep that is non-rapid eye movement sleep. Other is the REM sleep, rapid eye movement sleep. Now this NREM and REM sleep, they will be coming in cycles when we sleep. Now furthermore, NREM sleep can be divided into N1, N2 and N3 phases. In that, so there is a slow wave phase that is N3 phase uh, is a slow wave phase and th during this phase so the frequency of the waves uh, is uh, referred as delta waves. Now, what exactly happens during sleep and why sleep is so important? During sleep, there will be uh, endocrine changes going on in our body. So the hormonal changes going on in our body. Just to mention some of the hormonal changes that will be going on with a good night sleep. What happens? So the growth hormone will be increased with a good night sleep. Cortisol levels will be decreased and there will be decrease in ghrelin which is coming from gastric glands and there will be increase in leptin coming from adipose tissue. And also there will be changes in the inflammatory markers. So there will be decrease in tumor necrosis factor alpha, interleukin 6, C-reactive proteins. There are a lot of things, lot of metabolic changes going on. Now, when the growth hormone is increased with a good night's sleep, so the growth and development is going on in our body. And when cortisol is decreased with a good night's sleep, so there will be decrease in blood glucose level. When there is a decrease in ghrelin coming from the gastric glands, that means uh, we don't feel too much hungry. And when there is increase in leptin coming from adipose tissue, that means we feel full or we, uh, we, uh, the satiety signal will be good. That means we don't tend to eat too much food. Now, what happens if we don't sleep well? And also before I get into that point, so during sleep or especially neurons, they will be busy in uh, cleaning their system, especially the detox, uh, detoxification process or getting all the waste products or metabolic waste product out of the neurons. It will be done during sleep. That means they all it will be getting into the lymphatics and the lymphatic cleansing process will be going on in the neurons, especially in the brain. That is why if you have a good night's sleep, you wake up fresh. Okay, so the, all this cleansing process will be going on during our sleep in most of our cells and also the rejuvenation process and the good night sleep is important to maintain good immune function in our body. Now what happens if uh, sleep uh, amount num uh, the number of hours of sleep decreases? It has been recommended by National Sleep Foundation that an adult person need to sleep for an average of 7 to 9 hours per day during the period between 10 p.m. in the night and 2 a.m. in the early morning. That's when the majority of the frequency of NREM sleep will be going on mixed with the REM sleep though. So after 2 a.m. to till the morning whatever the period that you are going to wake up it will be more of REM sleep rather than NREM sleep. So we don't be getting into the deep sleep model. Now what happens if you sleep for less period of time, say maybe 4 hours, what happens? So during this particular period, there will be these endocrine changes which are going on, which are going on for a good, now that the effect won't be there. Like it means uh, uh, cortisol levels will be increased, there will be decrease in growth hormone, there will be increase in ghrelin, decrease in leptin. So just to see what happens. If there is increase in cortisol, so that means there will be more and more glucose, blood glucose will be increased because it increases glycogen breakdown process, gluconeogenesis process. And also decrease in growth hormone will bring a negative change in our growth and development. And there will be decrease in immune function going on in our body. Increase in ghrelin because of lack of sleep. So what happens? We tend to eat more in the ne uh, uh, next day. And also decrease in leptin. That means we don't feel full. We just tend to eat more and more food. So overall because of this what happens? Person will put on weight. As the person puts on weight, so the adipose tissue mass increases and now the vicious cycle starts. 
So all the endocrine hormones coming from the adipose tissue, they will cause insulin resistance and eventually giving it a, then eventually getting into glucose intolerance, diabetes mellitus and consequence of diabetes mellitus. So a person can get, uh, can have an increased risk of myocardial infarction, stroke, decrease in immune function can lead to opportunistic infections and also increase in inflammatory uh, mediators uh, so little inflammatory markers so lead to a prone, uh, person is prone for uh, increased inflammatory processes these are all some of the things that will be going on in brief when we get lack of sleep and uh, I just explained what is the importance of uh, sleep uh, prior, prior to this now let's move on to see what are the tips for healthy sleep 